Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video tutorial for Maverick Render. In this tutorial we will explore the render sets features available to Maverick Indie. As you may know, render sets are exclusive to Maverick Studio, but in our latest release we decided to open up the ability to render embedded backdrop shadows to Indie users as well. In Maverick Indie you won't be able to detach your scene in different IDs though. To do that, an upgrade to Maverick Studio is required. Let's work on an example to see how to detach the backdrop shadows and reflections. First of all we must tag which object or objects must be treated as backdrop. As you will see the ID edit boxes are grayed out since render set IDs are exclusive to Maverick Studio. In the compositing panel we must enable render sets and the backdrop and backplate options. In the render panel we will set the output file name and for this example we will pick 16-bit Photoshop document for the output format. We will enable the denoiser and lower the sampling level to 9 for the sake of speed. Let's press final render and see how the engine renders a sequence of layers. On completion, we may browse the output folder and see what files were generated for us. In this case we will obtain a PSD file and a convenient extra PNG where you will find the objects with their shadows embedded on a transparent background. Let's open the PSD and the PNG and see how they work perfectly as we insert a custom background. In the PSD document you will find the reflections and the shadows conveniently detached as Photoshop layers with proper blending modes. You will also find an extra layer with the shadows in multiply blending mode, which may be convenient if you wish to adjust the color or the strength of the shadows. We hope that you will enjoy these new options in Maverick Indie. This is all for now. See you in the next video. Have fun rendering with Maverick.